Telling Time in Spanish. Sugar Astronaut Presents. Hello everyone, in today's lesson we will learn how to tell time. Okay, let's get it started. There is something you need to learn before, and that is how to ask what time is it in Spanish. This question will help you either to know when someone is asking you the time or if you want to ask that to a person. The question is, ¿Qué hora tiene? for formal situations and ¿Qué hora tienes? for informal situations. This is one of many ways to ask what time is it in Spanish and it's commonly used as well. Let's break this down into a few steps. Step one, even though this is something really easy to do, you still need to structure a short sentence to make sense. The verb ser will be needed for this, specifically the two conjugated forms of the verb ser, es and son. Es will work when referring to one and son when referring to all the other hours. Step two, you will need the feminine definite articles la and las. La will be used for one and las for the rest of the hours. Step three, you need to know all the numbers from one to 59. Watch my previous lessons to learn almost all of the numbers. I will also be uploading a special lesson about a few tricks to learn Spanish numbers faster. Step four. Number one on the clock will always be una, not uno. For example, es la una. Step five. When referring to o'clock, you need to use en punto. For example, es la una en punto, or son las tres en punto. Step six. If you want to be more specific with letting people know if the time is in the morning or afternoon or maybe night, you can use the following phrases. De la mañana, de la tarde, de la noche. Or you can just say PM or AM instead. For example, es la una de la mañana or son las cuatro de la tarde or son las diez de la noche. Step seven, you can add minutes to the hour. For example, when saying 4.15, you can say the hour first, in this case, cuatro, and the other number, 15. Also, you can add the letter E in between the numbers. Son las cuatro quince, or son las cuatro y quince. More examples. Son las cinco y veinte. Es la una y cuarenta. Step eight. And finally, use the words media and cuarto. You need to use E in between the hour and media or cuarto. For example, son las nueve y media. Son las doce y cuarto. Okay, that's enough for today. Lessons are uploaded every single week. Don't miss out and subscribe here. If you want to watch more videos, you can click here. I'm also on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat. All the links are in the video description. Support this channel by sharing this video with your friends and by giving the thumbs up. Also, by visiting my Patreon page, there are different perks when donating. Click here to check that out. Thank you and until next time.